welcome to the final match here of the Australian Schools Championships. And it's the first time I've been able to see the New South Wales Schools one side. And they're taking on Queensland 2. Here is game 12 of Pool 8. I'm Adam Fry, joined by Michael Doyle. Welcome, Mike. Uh, a great carnival of rugby so far, uh, Doyley, but this game here is one that's going to be very interesting because we see that these two sides, or these seconds 15s, really rise to the occasion. We saw with New South Wales 2 really going up against Queensland 1, and now we have a Queensland 2 line up, up against probably the form side in the competition to date, being the undefeated New South Wales 1, who marry up with ACT as the only undefeated teams in this competition as we have a look at the New South Wales side. Doyley, you're familiar with this, being uh, Eastern Suburbs Colts coach. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Yeah, the New South Wales side, as Adam says, undefeated and uh, and having an outstanding tournament. Uh, they've been they've been led up the front there by Nick Frost and, the, and their back row have been outstanding. In the backs, they've got Ben Donaldson pushing them around and uh, and a, a guy from a very interesting place coming to the side for today's game is Joey Walton from the the what. Dalba Community High School, so uh, that's good. And a very strong side there, of course, coached by Lockie White. And they are going to be a really strong force here this afternoon. But their challenges and the team up against them is Queensland 2, who have been fairly consistent with their form. And I've really been impressed by a couple of their fours to date. Lachlan Connors reminds me so much of that name, say, Buzz Connors used to play for the Wallabies at number eight. He's been very good. Also, Herbert had a very, very strong game here yesterday. And Ryan Gasman had some pretty strong carries as well. As we look through some of their backs now, Vu to their halfback. Uh, both halves very strong in both Queensland camps, camps. And, of course, Alex Gow, who will be finding his way, who gets a start here this afternoon. And Byron Ralston, their fullback. So, the depth of... Australian schools rugby very strong and even speaking to some of the coaches from both departments and both teams and both camps have said that some of the calls very tough to make between Queensland 1 and Queensland 2 so both teams fairly even as we look to get things underway here in the final day of day three here at the Australian schools champs. Doyley you've seen a lot of the action here both live at St Ignatius College and also on rugby.com.au standards been pretty strong. Yeah, overall, pretty good. Uh, everyone's been fairly happy. I've talked to a lot of the selectors, the Australian uh, school selectors, and, and they've been pretty happy with what they've seen. This will be a great game. Uh, I, as you've said, Queensland 2, not much difference between them and um, and, and a lot of their Queensland 1 uh, counterparts, especially around the, uh, the, the halfback and 5-8. And, and Both of them are very hard decisions for them to be in the twos, so it'll be interesting to see how they go. Um, and, and New South Wales 1s, as I say, they're standing out in the middle waiting for the Queensland side um, and uh, they're ready to play. As New South Wales one left to wait out in the middle of the field. It's an interesting scenario here at the moment, Doyley. The New South Wales team with their arms linked. Listening to Thriller from Michael Jackson. Could it be part of their pre-game ritual? Maybe. Yes, it could be. They could be uh, Michael Jackson fans. And, uh, I know you're a fan. Yes, I am. I always got all have his been. Albums. Yeah, always, always been a fan of Michael Jackson. Very shame that he, he passed away when he did. But uh, the Queensland plane has arrived, and for all our viewers at home, we will be uh, seeing them take the field any minute. That's good tactics there from Queensland. They'll let them wait out in the middle, but um, and we say. Queensland 2 playing in the white jerseys this afternoon as things look to get underway here for the final game. Game 12, Pool 8 and some of the footage of the beautiful Sydney landscape and what a day it's been. Both days have been absolutely glorious here in the Sydney School of St Ignatius College Riverview as both teams welcome each other on the field. And the camaraderie between all opponents here in this championships has been fantastic. I've seen no fights. I've seen only the highest level of behaviour from all sides. And it's a real testament to this program, this competition, and also the Australian schoolboys. And we've been very proud and lucky enough to bring it here live on behalf of rugby.com.au and rugby.com.au Facebook Live. And try and join the conversation while you're watching the game. Just simply hashtag 
AUSXV and let us know who your star players are and potentially your Australian schoolboys team as Adam Fryer and Michael Doyle are here to bring you live coverage of this final match here of the day. Queensland 2 taking on New South Wales 1 as they get things underway through New South Wales. Nice little flick ball and you would think that Queensland are up for this match with the way they've just hit that break down there and New South Wales playing their one out runs here. Not committing too many to the breakdown Queensland as they fire back through the boot of Luke Raymer. And Bark a student. And you would say advantage to New South Wales early on in this piece. Yeah, Ben Donaldson there punching the ball downfield. I watched Ben Donaldson play for CAS versus GPS. Adam, and uh, he had an outstanding night and uh, he's an outstanding prospect for New South Wales. Great pilfer there from New South Wales that they haven't been able to get the ball. Queensland lying on that ruck, so penalty against the Young Reds. Tualangi, I think, was the player lying over the ball there. Once again, Queensland just trying to slow the New South Wales ball down, Adam, and they did that effectively in the in the previous game. Um, and we'll we'll look for the referee to clean that up and, and make sure that Queensland are out of the out of the New South Wales side of the ruck. And CAS very well represented in this back line for New South Wales one here this afternoon as New South Wales charge things up step by step, metre by metre. And all the advantage to the home side as low their hooker scoots out and makes a couple of metres. Ball at the back for New South Wales. One out run. A lot of bodies in that breakdown. Slow ball now to Rema. And it looks like it's a try. It is to New South Wales. We'll see who comes up with the ball. Uh, early five points up. There's a lot of pats on the back, but uh, hard to tell who actually scored that. It was just off the back of a, a, a five we'll have a look at the replay. The mm -hmm. Here's the replay now. Yeah. And it would be fair to say the referee able to pair it up. Once again, the ball was slow, but uh, New South Wales reacted very quickly. Too strong there. Might be the hooker. Yeah, uh, we'll... Uh, We'll have to wait and get that in the showers later, Adam. I don't know if we'll find out who scored that, but um, a good team try, let's call it that. that. We might get uh, the cue in from the sideline. I reckon it was either Darcy Breen or Abra, the front rowers, but we'll just say five points to New South Wales that quickly become seven through the boot of Henry Robinson. Pardon me, sorry, Ben Donaldson. Yeah, well, a good kick by Ben Donaldson got uh, the Blues down in the right ter in the right territory, and uh, from that moment on, they were, they were put pressure on Queensland. Yeah, conversion uh, gives the score seven 0 now. So New South Wales with the ball, and they cart forward through Moretti, another one of these Waverley College students that are dominating the rugby scene here in New South Wales at the minute. Yeah. Not releasing the ball. Once again, slowing Rocket the ball form. down. Leave slowing it. them down. So we've just been confirmed there that Bo Apra, you were right, Adam, from Stanley's College, scored that try. Very good eyes you've got that time. But he does. you do love front rower scoring tries. So uh, that's uh, one for you guys. And a bouncing kick into touch by Ben Donaldson. I thought it was just always going to be a front rower. If there's ever a try from 30 centimetres out, it's very much likely to be a one, two or three as New South Wales get things underway. Line out nice and tight for New South Wales as they are rocked over the advantage line there. Good, good, strong carry by Moretti who releases the ball for himself. Ball boggles out the back, cleaned up well by Queensland too. Now with the advantage. Here's Vuta and a beautiful clean brack by Lachlan Connors who burrows through and makes an extra couple of metres. Not Roll. releasing the player, the tackler there. That was Donnie Freeman who Roll. felt like he had all rights to the ball but still connected to the player. Asking for the blue player to roll there, Adam. So uh, 
referee quick on it. He was quick on Queensland earlier in the game, and now he's been quick on New South Wales. He's an injured player there. Adam, there's a good combination there that uh, I, I saw in the CAS game as well with um, uh, young Ben Donaldson taking the ball forward and Moriarty off his hip. Um, Oh, sorry, Moretti. He's saying Luca Moretti. Um, they they combined very well together and, and, and made a lot of yards in in, um, in the previous game. So it's, yeah. it's once again Ben Donison coming to the fore. Well, if Luca Moretti doesn't find his way in a Wallabies jersey <laughs> with a name like that, you think he might be even playing for the Azzurri, the Italians, but. Yeah. He's been strong so far, and uh, as I said before during the call, well represented CAS in this New South Wales one side, and also a sprinkle of high school as well. So good consistency across the board as Queensland two have the line out and feed through Van Neek, and they win the ball to the front, and it's off the top and cleaned out very well. Nice little ball off the hip there to lay up who finds an extra couple of metres there. Good, strong run by the winger. He's Vuta, the scrummy. Just really trying to manage the troops around there. A lot of bees around the pot. Ball's there for Queensland, and they come up with it through Tui Marvi. And you're looking for the goalpost now. Pick and go for Queensland 2 and they're over. Try to Queensland. That's Braden Law who was outstanding here yesterday. And he gets the first five-pointer for the Queenslanders. A bit of an upset on the cards here, Doyley. Yeah, look, Brandon Law forced his way into the team and uh, and straight away, straight in the thick of the action, going under the black dot to score that try. Very similar to what New South Wales did in the first uh, couple of minutes of the game. Piggybacked down by some penalties and then holding onto the ball, phase after phase, leading to a forward try. Yeah, he had a bit of work to do. There, the young back rower from the Marist College, Ashgrove. To see so many of the Ashgrove lads here as Whiteside nails it. And now gives it parity at Riverview St. Ignatius College. 7 all. With just on eight minutes gone in the final game here of day three. New South Wales won, of course, undefeated. Queensland 2 uh, looking to get the upset victory as they get things back underway through the boot of Donaldson who gets a very fortuitous bounce into touch but the result in New South Wales favour is Van Neek at the mark Brisbane boys hook up if there's any breeze in this game, Adam, it's just blowing into the into the New South Welshman's face at the moment, coming across the ground from left to right as we're looking at it. A, a win to the back of the line out for Queensland two, and a nice little boxy there by the scrummy, and it's put a lot of pressure on New South Wales now. Who's going to go up the ball? Beautifully taken there, and a great little tackle. I think that was Will Lloyd that made that taken it was good carry by New South Wales now over the advantage line through Breen good defense too but a hard run by Frost and he's met very very well by Queensland too so defense looking really strong they've got a bit of a spring in their step now the Queenslanders here's Robertson big long pass now to Donaldson who toes it through cleaned up well by Ralston, who finds a bit of a gap, but taken well by New South Wales. Seven Freeman. Jink to the short side, nothing on. Queensland going back into the teeth of the defence there. Counter ruck on from New South Wales, no. Ball's there. Verts up. Good carry, almost lost it there. Tuolangi. New South Wales in the way, looking to milk the penalty, but no, they go through. Knock back, says the referee. Tui Ma'i 
going through. Pick and go from Queensland. This looks better from Herbert. Short side on. Here's Ralston who chips it through. Here comes Gao. Gao motoring on. New South Wales do very well to clean up that ball. And Walton lays it back. Not a lot of blue jerseys there. Looks like it's a turnover to New South Wales. It's a knock on. So good pressure from Queensland too. Really well cleaned up by Walton, but not enough blue jerseys back there to help him. Yeah, look, Queensland there have been driven on by that try. That's given them, a, they've given them an extra jump in their step, and they're really attacking here against uh, against a kind of New South Wales ones who are kind of watching them play a bit of footy at the moment. They've got to, uh, they're just not not clicking. We'll see how this scrum goes. I'll let Adam call it because I know that he does love a scrum. I actually don't, if that's breaking news on this channel. I've had enough of them, but... You've had a lot of them. Uh, I mean, I've had enough of them now. I can, I can sort of put up watching them, but I enjoy them as much as I used to. But I think the set piece of all the teams have been really strong in this tournament. New South Wales 2 had the stronger pack going into the last game against Queensland 1. Queensland 1 dusted them up. And you would think New South Wales would have the stronger pack on this time, but Queensland taking it to them in this early part of the game. Just listen to some of the acoustics there in the middle of that pack. New South Wales looking to shear across, but Queensland 2 do pretty well to come away with it. And here comes Queensland 2 with the run, getting it on the outside now, and they've scored their second through layer. Try time, Queensland. Yeah, Miller, Le Otto, he, uh, his feet was beautiful in the midfield there and, uh, and just went through, palmed off one of the New South Wales defenders and uh, then it was uh, all she wrote. Yeah, it was a good, beautiful set piece and played really well there by Wyatt's side. And that's what you want to do as a 5 out is take it to the line early. And as you say, <laughs> Queensland were able to get through and break that advantage line and layer was Johnny on the spot and got the five-pointer for Queensland too, who now take the lead, 12 points to seven with a kick to come. It was a nice, uh, the ball was in front of the Queenslanders. Was, the ball was in front of those Queenslanders and Miller, um, his little step there, just, just got himself a bit unbalanced for the defender and, and through he went, palmed off the New South Wales defender and, and a good try to Queensland. So this isn't what, uh, isn't going the way the script said and... Uh, New South Wales will have to um, just take a take a moment there to pull themselves back together and get back to reality as uh, as uh, we're 12 nil here. Oh, sorry, 12 seven here at um, the beautiful Riverview College. Here's Queensland who to try and take advantage of that great set piece try. Beautiful shot there in the sun. Good crowd down here at Riverview. Comes through on the ball. Good little stab at it. He's just hasn't brought it around Whiteside. So no change to the score. Just on 13 minutes of play. Yeah, look, um, the crowd's been good all day. It's, it's great to see them come in and watching even the, the first game of the day. It was a very good crowd. So this is uh, drawing a lot of people to the game. Good set piece start, cleaned up well by Queensland, knocked back, so advantage with the young Reds, and that's a towering boot back and swirling in the breeze. What a take there by Joey Walton. A lot of pressure on that breakdown from Queensland too on New South Wales, looking to get that ball out. Robertson looking for one out runners. He finds the hook up low, crawling on his knees there, the hook. Beautiful flat pass again to Abra. And New South Wales well and truly on the attack now as they shift it wide and they find some speed in their wingers. Hopawati, who's almost into touch, but Queensland come away with it. Yes, they have. New South Wales look to hold them up. Turnover Queensland too. Now they go on the attack through there. Hooker. Van Neck who shifts it on. Boggled ball, recovered it well. 
and hacked downfield by Queensland too. Now New South Wales with the advantage, but they let the ball bounce. Hopawati now with the ball. Two people in front of him. Face ball across. Here come New South Wales. This looks better from the men in blue. Tackled well was Willie Lloyd. Nothing on the short side. Robertson feeds it again to Donaldson, who finds another one of his New South Wales players out there. Slow ball. Can't come in a pill for that. And that was Connors, but... Tackle, got a release, Seven. I almost no thought the that tackle. they needed to keep that to go. Yeah, Michael, you're right. Yeah, no release of the tackle. So that's once again them just slowing the ball down, Queensland. And trying to slow the New South Wales ball down. They were, New South Wales looked better there. Uh, their, the number 11, Will Lloyd, is looking to get involved. And he, and he made a nice insertion there and into, the, into the Queensland defence. And uh, the Blues were on the front foot and got the penalty. Interesting play here from New South Wales, respecting the opposition. I know they're trailing in this game, but I think most of the other sides have been looking to find a seven-pointer rather than a three. But you saw Ben Donaldson running over to the spot to grab the tee. He sees three points. is really important as he lines up this kick. Strikes it. And straight through the stick. So... Penalty attempt successful from New South Wales. One, they go to 10 points. They still trail Queensland 12 points to 10. With just on 16 minutes of play here in the final game of day three, the Australian schools champs. The referee there just had a quick chat to the Queensland captain about uh, about a few penalties back to back. So uh, told him to cut them out. So New South Wales on the, ro on the roll here now. Well, they must have some card KPIs in this tournament if they're giving out plenty of warnings and also plenty of cards as the big boot of Donaldson clears that ball. Gee, that's a big kick there from the young fire half from Waverley. And Queensland look to counter that with their kick of their own. And it is a line out to New South Wales just on the 40 metre line. Kieran Lowe, the Kings hooker, stocky little thing. Set piece has been good for New South Wales so far. Quick line out, beautifully taken. Great throw there by Lowe as they look to shift wide. And New South Wales looking very dangerous now on that right flank. Taken well. And now retreating back. So the set piece play and the advantage has gone back now. Bit of a jink there from the lock of New South Wales. Nick Frost. Still some one out running. That's Darcy Breen now. A lot of New South Welshmen at that breakdown. They leave them short later on, but a good run and a good tackle to meet it too. Queensland 2 just aiming up in defence, Michael Doyle. Very good line speed there from the Queensland 2 side. They're just numbering up against New South Wales and making their tackles. Nick Frost uh, from the Knox College, he, he took the ball he took yeah. the ball forward there and uh, got Blues I'm going forward on yeah. the next pass. He's, he's went straight to straight ground. He's just going straight to ground. I'll look for you, hey? Yeah. yeah. So scrum oh, here to the, the Queensland yeah, please. 2 side. Take it in. Yep. Take it in. Yeah. Yeah, it has been a sensational outing here this afternoon here at Riverview. Great crowd. And the health and the strength of schoolboy footy is well and truly alive here in Sydney. And it's a glorious day. School holidays, of course, here in New South Wales, wherever you're watching this game around Australia and the world. But uh, I tell you what, I'd prefer to be sitting there in the sun than being out in the middle of this pack at the moment. Yeah, both teams going at each other here. He's okay. Not wanting to give an inch at any time. As Queensland New South Wales game will always be exactly the okay. same. Keep the shoulders up, please. I enjoy seeing the New South Wales one or Queensland one play the, the two of the opposite state, like a New South Wales one and a Queensland two. It's just there's so much more to play for, and I always feel the underdogs got a bit of a sniff and feel they can get one up. So... All the games have been really tight. We saw that just in that last one there where New South Wales were coming home over Queensland 1. But 
Queensland 2 dominating things early here at the moment. That's Whiteside with a nice little jab forward. Beautiful tactical kick back to New South Wales, and he had to rush that kick away through Joey Walton. We've got a sub here from New South Wales. That's Jeremy Williams going on in uh, in jersey number 19. Okay, I think this this is this could be okay. a big loss for the New South Wales side. I saw Luca Moretti get a little knock on his shoulder earlier, and he has left the field with a sore, with a crook shoulder there. Ball over the top to Queensland too. Not ideal, but they take it. That's true. Roots up. What is it with these Queensland scrum halves in this tournament? All very strong. Here's another one-out carry from. Tuolagi, pick and go through Van Neck. Just like playing things a little safe here at the moment, Queensland and New South Wales look to horn up and defence and get off the line. Obviously something coming from the sidelines now to get into this game and they're going to have to do it through defences. Queensland, pick and go and that's that man again, Braden Law. It's like he may have turned that ball over and he's recovered it well, but Queensland 2 still on the attack. Now it's through Gasman. And yeah. they get the penalty. Michael Dahl, so another opportunity to extend their lead. Yep, straight away. Queensland getting on the attack and controlling that football. Brandon Law, he is, uh, he's been outstanding. Obviously, he forced his way into the run on side and he's, uh, he's not letting his coaches down. He's having an outstanding game and Queensland have elected to kick for goals, showing the respect again for points in this game. It's tough to score me, and we, we just got to take penalties as they come. Sorry. Okay. I right. thought you were calling knock on. Just be really clear for me. Plenty of uh, upsets in this tournament so far. I'm just doing the math now. If, if the ACT are the undefeated, yeah. there is an upset in this match. Who would have thought that the ACT would be the top-ranked Australian school side going into this championship? You would have thought maybe Queensland won or New South Wales won, but it's a, it's a good thing this tournament is so tight as Queensland 2 now look to take the advantage. Beautiful backdrop of the school here at St Ignatius College. Nice crowd. A bit of silence and jabs it through and no. unsuccessful. So a let off for New South Wales one. There's a bit of pressure on him there and he, stood, he hesitated at the top of his mark for a long, long time there. So I think the pressure is definitely on both sides here. So that was a let off for New South Wales. And you're right, Adam. I said to have ACT up there playing such good football as well with these youth kids, uh, it, it's excellent. Here's Whiteside with a torpedo. Gary Owen up and under. What a kick. And even better still, not a bad recovery from New South Wales. And Donaldson had to do some work. Couldn't get to his feet, but he does. Lays it back nicely. And they see an opportunity down the short side. Advantageous to say the least. And New South Wales put it into touch. <laughs> And that ball has just almost knocked the last four strands of hair off my head here in the commentary box. And the last two of mine. <laughs> and the last two of yours, Michael Thor. <laughs> so that's, uh, that was Will Lloyd again from the New South Wales side taking the ball forward out of their own 22, but back to the kick, and Queensland still strong on the attack here. Their next throw falls short. New South Wales come away with it through Nick Frost. The Knox lock and back again to Henry Robertson. Sorry, Ben Donaldson. As they look to counter through the boot of Ralston. And a lucky bounce for Queensland 2 and a scoop down to Vuta. Now Queensland 2 going down the sideline. Bit of a jab in the face. That's Leah. He's been good this afternoon, Leah. Oh. But not enough Reds jerseys, I should say white jerseys around that ball and it's a turnover to New South Wales. Lucky there, a lucky bounce to Queensland too, but then a lucky decision going New South Wales way. But it was fortuitous because they were there in numbers, New South Wales, and they come away with a penalty. 
Once again, uh, the Queenslanders kicking into space and the ball bouncing and that Josh Josh Vuta, just he's been everywhere today, Adam. You know, we talked about him in the, in the pre-match and um, he's, he's an exciting number nine for Queensland. The Blues lucky to get the penalty there to relieve a little bit of pressure. Here's New South Wales again. And they shift things wide. And Donaldson back with the ball and it's a decent nudge there by the Waverley fly half and it gives Queensland two still an opportunity just on 42 metres out from the opposition line and South Wales quick to assemble at the line out and ball to the back beautiful throw there by Reese Van Neck and now Queensland two on the attack and they get it wide straight away to Leah on Hopawati and fends him off two and finds more metres down the middle of the field. New South Wales are there. Good clean out. Queensland two. Ball to Vuta. Towed through now by Queensland two. Probably not the right option. And it could be dead. a try. No, that ball looks to appear have gone dead. Yeah, it had gone dead. And uh, that Thank will go you. right back from where he kicked it for a scrum yeah. to... New South Wales. Twice there, Queensland had the opportunity to take, build some pressure on New South Wales. One from the line out here, they lost their own line out, and then uh, Nick Frost got up and, and won that. And then there, they had good numbers, and he decided to put a grubber through. I, I think if he could get that back, he would take that kick back. Yeah, it probably wasn't the right option there from Queensland too, but it's going to come up with a play of that sort. Let's get to get this game, but they probably don't need to be too adventurous so far. Alex Gow with that grubber through. A bit of a coach killer, but sometimes coaches like to see players take a chance, and that one didn't pay off for Queensland too on that occasion as the ball goes in for New South Wales under a bit of pressure there at scrum time, but they come away with it okay, and here comes Hopawati, who gets over the advantage line. Again, a lot of players at that breakdown. Shifted on nicely to Douglas. And now Robertson feeding again, and that's Hopawati getting over just shy of the 40 metre line. It's a penalty to New South Wales. 20. His hands are in front of the ball. He's not supporting his weight. Yeah, that's against number 20, Brandon Law, not supporting his own weight on that ball, Adam. He's, he's got to get, he's trying to make sure that he doesn't put his hands on the ground when he's going for that pilfer. And uh, disappointing there for Queensland as New South Wales get, get into their half, and they haven't been in Queensland half much. No, you're right. Territory well and truly in favour of Queensland too as New South Wales go on the attack for the first time in a long time and fed beautifully well and straight out to their wide receivers. And New South Wales looking very dangerous on the attack here through their inside centre. And now New South Wales looking to chance their own first faith turnover. Joey Walton thought that the 13 was going to drop underneath him. Yep. Lost forward into touch. What you have the option. That's a killer like to Doyley because what you want to do is line out. if you don't have the territory and you don't have the possession, you certainly don't want to be turning it over in the first We're phase. And that's what New South Wales have done there. And now it gives Queensland two the opportunity to get back in the game. So, yeah, Joey Walton there, just looking for the winger, and the winger had come back on his inside. Good line out, Queensland, and here's Law. Good little footwork into contact there. Sorry, that's not Law. That's Solly. Very alike the two centres here for all Queensland. Nice take by Lloyd who feeds it into the middle of the field. Now they look to counter. Here's Hopawati. He's got one on his outside, and that's Donaldson, who then feeds it off. New South Wales looking dangerous here through some bustling runs down that flank. A little scoot by Robinson finds the forwards. New South Wales looking to set things up here and get over for their second try in the match. Donaldson feeding out wide. Here come the front rowers into the mix, and that's Abra, who... Leave it, Whites. Finds a couple of metres and New South Wales continue to go on the attack through Williams. That ball is held up, fed back well. And here's Woodcock. You'd think he should have a five on his back, not a one and five. 
He's a tall kid, but Queensland get the turnover. And I think it's that man again from Queensland too, Braden Law, who was able to snaffle that pill. It is Law who gets the congratulations from his teammate, Alex Gow, but they're been brilliant at the breakdown, and, and Law's always there or thereabouts, Michael Doyle. Yeah, well, there's some great play there by New South Wales leading up to that. They've just got to control the ball, Adam, and just uh, and, and build build some pressure in the 22 in Queensland, and I think the points will come, but they just seem to be overplaying it a little bit at the moment and going a little bit too far. Uh, if they can maintain that ball and, and build pressure, but Queensland getting out, getting out of jail here and scrum to Queensland. Strong shove by a New South Wales one, but again, Queensland win their set piece well and they get over the advantage line. That's time it's for Lower Toa. And here they go again through Whiteside and out now to Gow, who's tackled well. Looking for the counter ruck, New South Wales. And the Voots up, dishing out, one out running, but still effective through Herbert. Vutzer again, jinking, diving. Still not exiting out of their zone here, Queensland. And there's Law again, finding some metres. Shifting now, white side onto the right boot. Looks for territory. Not the best kick from the young Queenslander as New South Wales goes straight on the counter attack. Donaldson was on the outside and he still might get the ball. He does. Good feet by the fly half and fends off two. Looks for one on the inside. It could be try time, New South Wales. It is. Try in the corner to Will Lloyd, set up by Ben Donaldson. So the CAS combination there. And it was eventually going to give at some point Michael Doyle. And just on half time, New South Wales will be able to strike. Yeah, the great counter-attack there from a Queensland after they exited from their area. Their coach was calling for it. And uh, here we go. We'll have a look at it here. They come back strongly. That's, I think that's Donaldson with the ball there. And look at the balance of Donaldson here. He gets hit hard there, and he keeps his balance and passes back inside to the ever-ready number, Will Lloyd from the Barker College, who's been very busy so far in this game, Adam. Yeah, I, I, I do like the look of... Uh, Ben Donaldson, I, I've seen him play for Waverley at certain times this year. He's just got, as you say, it's almost like he plays on a hovercraft. He glides across the pitch, and when he gets bumped, he doesn't really get any sort something of off you, balance. Yeah, well, something you probably don't understand, Adam, if you run with the ball in two hands in front of you, 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 you are, you're a well-balanced player, so that when your players come to hit you, you do have the opportunity to move your feet. You would have been one of the tuck-and-go players. Okay. Is that right? All right, so coaching advice here from Michael Doyle. I'm just writing a note on that one. I'll make sure I take that on board. But big raps on this kid, Donaldson, from... The Waverley College there in Bondi Junction as he strikes the ball and falls a few metres short. But it's half time now here at Riverview and a very, very fortunate try for New South Wales. One on the stroke of half time. And without that, they would be in a spot of bother. But Will Lloyd was able to cross for the corner. And Benny Donaldson, as we look at some of the half time stats here before our very special cross to half time. New South Wales 15. The two tries scored there. Uh, one of those, of course, just on a stroke of half time. And Queensland, too, I think, have been probably the better side in this game. Uh, haven't been able to capitalise on their possession and, of course, their territory. So just the two tries for them and the single conversion. Only three points separating these games, and that's the one penalty. I think New South Wales will be happy with that, Adam. 15-12 going into that because uh, Queensland did take it to them. So I think overall they'll be pretty happy. As we get ready for some of the highlights here in the opening half of the final game at the Australian Schools Championship. There were certainly plenty of them and it started with New South Wales. Just a pick and go here and we, we called it. It was either going to be one, two or three and I think it was Breen that came up with the five pointer here. Just a nice little slight pick and go and all the advantage was going to New South Wales and they got the five pointer and all the backs ran in to give a bit of man love to the front row who do do all the work in these games of footy here. But Queensland were quick to strike back and Vuto, their scrum half, was really good at just sort of directing the troops around the ruck. 
and it was almost like an exact play. And this man here, Braden Law, has been outstanding here this afternoon. He was great yesterday. He scored the first five point of four Queensland. Not only is he scoring points, he's turning over plenty of pill for the men in white. Second try to Queensland. This is when you thought an upset could have been on the cards. Good scrum by New South Wales. Fed in really nice and well. Whiteside took it to the line very early. And Leah was on the end of a very, very well structured set piece try, which gave them a seven point advantage. So plenty to celebrate there for the Queenslanders. And as I said, starting to get a sniff in this match. And they had plenty more opportunities as well. And that man, Leah, was still a very dangerous play, but it was New South Wales who were able to get across in the attack and just not enough numbers at the breakdown there for Queensland and they were to get the turnover. Just that one opportunity there for Queensland, Alex Gow towing it through, but it was just probably about two metres too big. A risky play, but one that just didn't come off for the young Queenslanders. And here it was, just before half time, the man on the hovercraft, Benny Donaldson, two hands on the ball and gives that uh, person the try. And uh, we cross now live to very special guest joining us here at rugby.com.au. Yes, that's right, Adam. I'm down here with Wallabies coach, Michael Checker. Michael, uh, you've been down here enjoying some schoolboy action today. What have you made of the championship? Well, it's been a beautiful day here, first of all. And what I have noticed in the two games that I've been watching, which have both involved New South Wales and Queensland, the ones and the twos, either or, has been a fair bit of vigour. You know, I think that you see the... Um, what I suppose it underdogs, the twos trying to turn over the ones and you're seeing it in this game here where Queensland is sticking it right to New South Wales at the moment. And there's been um, a f you know, no love lost between these two sides and a lot of young talent coming through. Are you seeing any potential uh, Wallaby stars down the track? Well, I think, you know, this is, uh, I suppose, a bit of the showpiece around the work that's being done behind the scenes. All these players will be well known to the recruitment um, teams in all of our states. Uh, I just saw the, the New South Wales guys up there. I've seen the ACT people here. And so I suppose just looking at them in a bit more of a high pressure situation where I suppose there's um, bragging rights on the line and how they how they play their football under those conditions. So it's, it is a good testing ground and every year I come, you see it, I've been, ever since I've been back in Australia, since 2013, you've just seen the improvement in the quality of the play and, and also the way the tournament's been run. And there's uh, two tests later on in the year against New Zealand schools for the Australian school side. This is and a pretty important part of their, their journey as you know rugby players in this country. It is. It's very important. I think, um, you know, these are the things we've got to start doing across the board is, you know, us included, is getting back to those test matches, whether they be at schoolboys, 20s, and then seniors level, you know, men's and women's, and, and starting to get in there and get some wins against New Zealand. So um, playing at the higher level here is going to get them in some good nick to be able to go over there and take it to them. Do you have any uh, inkling on who might come out at the top in this match here between uh, Queensland 2 and New South Wales 1? Well, look, you know, I think New South Wales 1 have probably got the expectation that they're going to go through, and I've seen plenty of teams come unstuck with that. But they just got to try on half-time there. They've got some pretty potent players, and I'd say they'll, um, despite a strong effort from Queensland 2, they'll come through in the end. Well, check. thanks for your time, and enjoy the rest of the footy. No worries, enjoy. Back to you, Adam. Thanks, Paddy, and uh, great to hear from the Qantas Wallabies head coach, Michael Checker, enjoying the sunshine. And, of course, there's no better person to be talking about schoolboy rugby than Paddy Folks, the professor of pathway rugby, calls himself, and uh, certainly knows every avenue of this game at that level of the community game. So thanks very much for your help there, Paddy, and throughout the call of day three here of the Australian Schools Championships. Joined by Michael Doyle, I'm Adam Fryer. Doyley, second half, how do you see it? Yeah, well, I think New South Wales, as I said just before the break there, that they'll be happy with the 15-12 uh, score line. They haven't really hit their straps, but uh, and Queensland haven't taken the advantage of a couple of moments. But As we get things back underway here from Riverview St Ignatius College, and it's an early penalty to New South Wales, one. Just have a listen in, Doyley. What's the referee saying? He was white six there obstructing and, and uh, taking the New South Wales chaser out. Um, and he rolled over his back. So he stood in front of the guy that was taking the football. He can't do that. Got to get out of the way. And uh, he um, moved into the, into the path of the chaser of that kick and took him out. So this is what New South Wales would like, starting on the front foot here. Yeah, well, they had... All the momentum going into the halftime break and they appear to 
be still working alongside that grain as low throws it to the back boggled ball carted forward by new south wales i think that's donny freeman their open side looking for the little short pivot it's a pick and go through the middle new south wales is he going to get there he does try time new south wales one i think that's jeremy williams if i can get some visuals on that but it came from nowhere it was a pick and go from new south wales one and then all of a sudden it was straight through the middle it's probably yeah, the Captain's blind spot of all oh, pick and goes is straight through the middle Cooper, of that Cooper, ruck. And um, yeah, it was almost like a bridge over the ball. And okay. the ball was sitting there. No defenders were paying any attention. And it was the, I wouldn't say the easiest of tries to New South Wales, but one that certainly required a lot of hard work with a little bit of a gap. Jeremy Williams, the oh. Scott student from Bellevue Hill, has scored New South Wales third try. I'm going to give two raps there. I'm going to give one to, uh, one to the try scorer. I thought he did very well, but also the halfback for uh, New South Wales once there. He just balked at the ball that got the Queensland defenders looking at him rather than where the ball was, and he and uh, he drew them to him and, and, and gave that opportunity for the hole to be created. So I'll probably give... Even a third wrap there, Doyley, for your observation of that halfback's great work <laughs> as New South Wales won, convert their try through Benny Donaldson. Brings the score now to 22 points to 12. And Just like that. Yep, that's the start that uh, New South Wales would have wanted, uh, Adam. Like I'm sure they talked about it at halftime, just playing to their structures, putting pressure back on Queensland, and they maintained that pressure and, and got, the tr got the try. What a take there by... Queensland too with that restart. Here's Law with his hands on that ball. He looks for the pick and go. Great leg drive by the back rower and gets just a little shy five metres with nothing really to work for. And here they come again. Queensland on the attack through Crew Winnis. As they continue to look to build pressure. Queensland through Carter Gordon who's chopped down nicely. Big long place there. Enables Queensland to set things up and move to the next phase, which they do through Connors, who takes it through New South Wales players with him. Law at the base of the scrum. Here comes Tui Mavi. Ball sort of spewing around the back there. New South Wales have pounced on it through low, but they're going to call Queensland two as a knock-on. So some smart, attractive rugby there, Michael Doyle, but... Just a little polish there at the end required well, from Queensland too to look to take the advantage. Yeah, it started off from the kickoff. Uh, you know, Queensland taking the kickoff right on the 10 metre line, and uh, and they went forward from there. And, and and as we saw in the first half, you know, when they've got the football and they're, and they're going on front football, they look very very good. But just a little mistake there um, to relieve some pressure on New South Wales. New South Wales Boys. definitely didn't want to try there, so they'll be working hard to get out of this area as quickly as they possibly can and, and hold this scrum nice and tight and get down the other end of the field. As New South Wales look to get things back underway, playing out of off their D zone and five metres off their line. Referee's got his arm out and he's blowing the penalty to Queensland too. I was about to say, fairly confident to be able to play three phases wide. But Queensland, too, have taken advantage of that. Yeah, he just got isolated there. He, he ran himself into isolation, as they say. You know, he just got away from his back row and his, his, his outside player uh, was too slow to him and the Queenslanders were there in numbers and, and, and forced the turnover. He's the first man on the ball, but penalty. It's Bonnie, you get him the ball, now yeah. or never for Queensland, too, because I've just got a sense if they don't strike now... A 10-point margin could increase, and New South Wales seem to be playing a different style of rugby when they're under pressure. A really deep back line here as the scrums collide. Both packs. Ball caught up in the middle and spits out to the side for Vuta and finds his man. Queenslander over through a great little passage of play. What a try to Carter Gordon. And sometimes set piece can be a beautiful thing to get that dominance. Other times you can just get the unlucky bounce. 
And Verta, who fed the ball in nicely here, it spits out to the side, and you think so it could be a bit of an interesting situation. And then replacement, Carter Gordon, Brisbane boys college student, scores underneath the point, uh, underneath the black dot. That's an automatic seven points for me, Michael Doyle. Game back on. Yeah. Straight away, I said they wouldn't. New South Wales wouldn't want to try scored against them, and there, there you go. Um, the Queensland scrum screwed, and probably New South Wales had the better of that scrum, but the ball came out, and, and the and the New South Wales halfback had, had had peeled round onto the other side of the of the scrum, and young Vutu Vuta had a, a clear run, and then and then unloaded to uh, this man going for the goal, um, Carter Gordon. So he's come on and making his impact in the game. And there's no mistake kicking that goal. Yeah, well, he had a nice little run too. First touch of the ball, probably made about 10 metres. Went a little bit across field, got the ball, long ball place. And then only moments after that, scoring a try for his state. So well done, Carter Gordon. And well done, Vuta, who pretty much set that up as we get things back underway. Gee, that's a beautiful restart by Ben Donaldson. Nice and high and taken by New South Wales, but knocked forward. Here comes Connors. Connors straight up the middle. Queensland two on the attack now. Beautiful ball across the face. Here's Leah. Leah's got one to beat. Can he get there? And he's over. What a try. Queensland two. A wow. remarkable return. All of a sudden, New South Wales, who led by 10 points, are now trailing Queensland two. But what... A run, and importantly, what a ball from Lachlan Connors, who set up his winger in the corner. He's got a bit of gravel rash through there, Doyley, but I'll let you call the replay. What a try yeah. to Queensland. Well, we've just missed. Unfortunately, the replay didn't go back far enough, but we see the number 11 really, really striding out there and, and giving the cover defence no opportunity to pull him down. But it was it was number eight for Queensland 2's Lachlan Connors who really did the hard work in that try. He went hard down the middle of the field, really straight out. He was running like a winger. There you go, another big man with pace. It's, it's unbelievable that they keep producing this. And... Uh, here we go again. A Here it is off the kickoff. The blue. Yep. Yep. I'll let you do it, Adam. No, no, no. It was, uh, it so was a great one is. by Connors. Yeah. It was fantastic for the number eight. But the most thing I was important uh, and, and impressed with was just that beautiful flat ball. At full pace, Connors be able to throw that right to left and it hit him smack bang on the chest. I'd be checking the sternum of Lee, the try scorer. He'll have a nice bruise on it because that pill just went straight to it. <laughs> like a tracer bullet. And here's Carter Gordon. What a bad strike. It's, it's well, Carter Gordon's coming to this game and he's made an impact, but he hasn't been able to convert on that one. So there you go, a 12-point swing in three minutes. And game on here is the last match of this Australian School Boys Champs. You cannot write any of these games off. Here is Queensland 2 with the ball now. Here's that man again. Connors with the ball. He's straight through again, but he doesn't feed it into Leah. Disappointment, but he was almost a complete replica of the play beforehand. But you're looking at some of the energy from the Queensland bench here on the sideline and also their play getting set into this line out early. They're smelling blood here, these young Queenslanders. There's the line out goes through. Set piece has been strong for New South Wales. One. Here they go out wide. Looking straight away. Finding the open man. Is it boggled down? No, it's not. It's taken well by Donnie Freeman, who's been able to trace through now. Getting some metres now. New South Wales two through Joey Walton. Ball back now. Donaldson coming forward. Big bustling run. That ball spews out. Is it knocked back? Yes, it is. Here's Donaldson again. No. Error. Turnover. New South Wales. Not good. A uh, poor pass there from Henry Robinson, the, the New South Wales first half. Yeah, Some good front We're keeping the ball down here now. Ten blue knock on, white scrum. The big forward hitting it up, and uh, I think that was Frost taking the ball forward there, and he did very well to get a quick recycle. I mean, they, they had good front football, but the pass was not good enough, and Ben Donaldson just jiggled it as it hit the ground. Yeah, it's Dylan Dowing now on as the scrum half for New South Wales, who's... Hails from the Rugby Nursery of St. Joseph's College at Hunter's Hill, just around the corner here from Riverview. And that ball looks as though it could have been turned over in out in the same tunnel, says the referee. I think that's one thing to note, Doyle. It's not only a, an opportunity of pathway for these young kids to 
into the next phase of their rugby career. I'm seeing a lot of the referees doing a great job here within the tournament, coaches as well, but I think the, the referees deserve some accolades. I think they've been very good and well suited to the standard of this footy being played. Yeah, I've got a lot to do with the referees now in New South Wales, and, and, and this is, this is uh, one of the top competitions for these referees to show their skills, and everyone's coming to the fore. Also to show their aerobic fitness too, because these games are quick, and that's a great kick there by Queensland too, putting the pressure right back on New South Wales. And you can always tell where the momentum's sitting by how quickly a team runs to a line out. And the Queenslanders were certainly there first, counting numbers. Set piece has been strong for New South Wales. Can that continue? Straight up the back, taken well, and fed down to Dowling, who shifts it across. And another run by Freeman, who just falls short to the advantage line. Now back to the short side, New South Wales. Here's the hooker. Beautiful slider hand to Hopawati. Fends off one, fends off two. Goes through a third. No, he's tackled well through Mahania. Scoot out wide. Tip ball on. New South Wales now with the momentum. And that's Max Douglas taking the metres. Out wide now. Donaldson shifts it on. Bit of a jink there. Back to Donaldson, who shifts it way out to the extreme outside. New South Wales looking a little bit disorganised as their counter-attack comes back here now. Plenty of players in that breakdown. One out run now by the try scorer, Jeremy Williams. A lot of bodies in that breakdown. And it is a scrum to New South Wales. So an entertaining little passage of play there, Doily. Yeah, well, New South Wales going back to their structures there and uh, just working working their set plays and, and working down the field. It's an, unfortunate that ball didn't come because they were in quite a good position. But uh, Queensland doing a good job slowing down the New South Wales ball. Uh, can't seem to just get the ball quick enough to keep their backs going. Every time their backs get the ball, Adam, they look very, very good and, um, and, the, and, and very polished. But uh, Queensland doing a very, very good job at the moment. They are doing a great job because they're actually in the lead with just on over 25 minutes to go as Queensland makes some changes. Crew Winnis, the lock from Brisbane State High School, has left the game. He's had a solid outing. He's replaced by Will Chaffee in the row. From the Toowoomba. Toowoomba Grammar School. Some great rugby people come from Toowoomba over the years. Who and, are they? Uh, well, there's a guy called Brendan Pearson, I can remember, who was a very good schoolboy footballer. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Any Wallabies from Toowoomba? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure of that. That could be a, a good trivia question, actually, but a very good sporting area. A bit like Wagga is in, uh, in, in New South Wales, Toowoomba in, is in Queensland. Yeah, well, if you do know the answer to that, just head to the hashtag. AUSXV and let us know any Wallabies coming out of Toowoomba New South Wales goes on the attack now and do pretty well a little bit of confusion there and their outside backs but they look to head the same way and they're carting forward now through Hardacre and Hopawati's been really well matched here this afternoon very deep the New South Welshman and Donaldson looking to command his troops. Good clean out, New South Wales. And here's the hooker who bumps off. Queensland. Carter Gordon. Here they go again now, New South Wales. Looking to play one out runners, which is a little bit effective and Pilfer was almost on, but it's sprung back out and into the arms of New South Wales. Isolated at the moment. How's the referee seeing it? No, he's saying play on. Ball's there to play. Penalty New South Wales. Now, this could be an interesting one, but they take the quick tap through Dowling, who scoots through. And coughs it up, so not back to 10 metres. That's a lucky break for New South Wales, who any time you want to take that quick tap, you either want to take the advantage or get the opposition within the 10. And he's given his kicker a little bit of an easy kick as... Benny Donaldson struts up to the mark to point at the sticks and may give New South Wales one the lead. 
Yeah, I'm just going to give one of the Queensland players a wrap here. He's, We're he's, infringing he's Carter a bit. Gordon, yeah. another we had 22 a, a heads from Brisbane Boys College. Your initial he, he's, a, he's an unlikely to looking lad, to um, but he is in everything. He's, he's, yeah, he's tackling, he's running, he's, he's, he's obviously this forced his way into the run okay, onside. Similar with Brandon Law. Does that make sense? Have a chat, please. really making inroads for Queensland, but New South Wales here, after some good lead-up work, got the penalty once again. Piggyback down the field on a penalty Happy. and yeah. on. young Ben Donaldson will have the shot for goal okay, here man. to put New South Wales back in the lead. Guys, 10 metres, please. And you would think that he would be able okay. to convert this yep. and give sure. New Just South Wales that one point advantage, as you say, Doily. And we are uh, not unused to tight games here at Riverview for this championship and even when you're up by three tries or three points or even 30 in some degrees you're, you're always going to see an interesting finish and this one looks like it's about to go down to the wire yeah I don't think Queensland's going to go away in this one Adam I think they've really they're here for the game and uh, and doing a good job against this wonderful New South Wales school schoolboy side and Donaldson makes no mistake of that one. And New South Wales back in the lead. And just on 13 minutes of play to go. It's a tight one. New South Wales 125, Queensland 224. And as they get things back underway through Josh Vutup. And a great take there and also met in a great tackle by. That man again, Lachlan Connors, good with the ball and the shoulder. And here come New South Wales. Will they play it safer this time? No, they Tackle. go through their hooker. Kieran Lowe, a couple of metres forward there. And this is probably the better play as Donaldson rakes it down. But Voots is there and he's gone straight for the sandwich and played a pretty handy shot onto the green there. Doily, I think that's a good tactical kick by... Queensland too to hopefully put some pressure on their opponents. Yeah, Josh, uh, Josh Vutu, he he pops up everywhere. He uh, and that was a lovely little kick, just rolled into touch and put the pressure on New South Wales to win their line out. And they make no mistake of it. But I was about to say he's done pretty well there. The Queensland hooker to get through and put pressure he's on offside. that ball, but clearly offside. And a bit of lip service from New South Wales back to. The Off Queensland side, 2 16. team. An important kick this one because this will, with a bit of time and patience, could see them on the halfway line with the way Donaldson kicks the ball. And he's landed it just on 45 metres out from his own try line. New South Wales finding their way to the mark. And their tall timber today, Max Douglas and Nick Frost have been very good at set piece and also with their carries. Here they are now, New South Wales getting on straight into it and that's Rima back to the short side and a nice little bit of footwork there by New South Wales outside sent up he's that man again boots up and not only is he good with the kick he's also good with the feet and gets through a couple of players and again they're going to continue to try and put pressure on New South Wales one line out as The Queensland bench looking on. They're uh, on the edge of their seats. They might be playing a role in this game, but it's a little bit like the crowd here on the sideline, just waiting on every call. A real tense game here and a tense passage to play. New South Wales come back on the attack and finding their way over the ad line through Rima again. Almost the exact identical play. I'm pretty sure it would have been going back to short side through Douglas. Douglas getting the ball back, long ball. Halfback has the ball slapped out of his hands. Referee has no problem with that and gives the ball and loose head feed to Queensland. It's quite interesting here, Adam. The, the crowd is, you could hear a pin drop. Everybody is uh, is on the edge of their seat as, as this tussle goes on. Um, it's it, Anything could break this uh, this deadlock on both sides. 25-24. 
Um, this is this is once again another outstanding game in these championships. Uh, the, the, the players continually come out time and time again and play out of their skins and, and give us some unbelievably good rugby. Yeah, time's off. Yeah, we're looking down at some uh, pitches I've here. I think the Queenslanders looking to soak up the clock a little bit. Okay. And glorious conditions here too uh, okay, within sure. Riverview. Yeah. Playing a lot of matches here now. Oh, oh, oh. How's it looking, and, um, yeah, good. Not only is it good to get out in the sort of non-stadia here in New South Wales, you want yeah, to try course, and mate. Yeah. bring um, it to the schools. And bring like, oh, uh, yeah, some bring substitutions are being made for New South Wales, number okay, 18. Cool. We're bringing one on. Catrone yeah. from Knox Grammar has come into the match. And also, Adam, there's number six, Luca Moretti, coming back onto the field after going off earlier with a, a shoulder injury. So he's, he's obviously a, a very important part of this New South Wales side, and, and the medical staff have done their work on him and got him back out there. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. I think, unfortunately, one of the Queensland players has done his ankle here, I think, and uh, he's leaving the field. Yeah, I think that's Ryan Gassman. I think he's... Looks like he's got some type of ankle but doesn't look good for the young lock he's had a good game too oh, he's Ryan. had a good yeah. tournament yeah Doyle. he's played yeah. well in all of his matches yeah. but, uh, not it's a good shame game. but the medical right. staff will do their job and, and hopefully he can return in the next day or so I guess who's got the ball at okay i'm back on josh Vuda. he's been good little scrummy <laughs> It's interesting you try and single out players in these matches that stand out, that certainly step up, and I think Vuta could clearly be one that's Sit. been consistently performing well for Queensland in the first three days of the tournament. Guys, it's 45 New South Wales put pressure on Queensland two ball, but he he would be one that stands out for me, Vuta, and also we've we'll given him a few raps this game. Braden War yeah. has stood up. Yeah, as you know, as speaking to the Queensland coaches, uh, you know, there, there hasn't been much between these several positions Crouch. in the team, and same with New South Wales. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, someone's got to play in the twos and someone's got to play in the ones. But um, they're certainly putting on a good Six. performance here, the Queensland second team. They just trial by the single point, and a strong scrum by New South Wales is rewarded. Now will you reset the reset the first one and he uh, and he's penalised uh, Queensland there for not pushing straight. Adam, you can tell me more about that. I think that's the objective, isn't it, of a scrum is to push straight. But it's uh, to push, <laughs> just to push, just to push. <laughs> Wherever you push, just push. Uh, but I think New South Wales have certainly had the ascendancy throughout this match, and that's probably a little bit of reward for them. There's, again. Kieran Lowe, who's been really good with his line-out throwing this afternoon, continues to find the mark. New South Wales back on the attack, a juggle ball there. Through New South Wales, looks for the flick pass, no. Probably should have held it there. Hardacre, and then it's kicked into touch. It's Rian Stowers from Hel Helensvale State High School there, come on for Queensland. He did a one-handed take there. Something out of first slip, I reckon. He just, he, he just plucked it out yeah. as New South Wales were attacking. Another Waverley student. And a hooker. Will Johnson, whose first throw in the call to the fire. He's a lucky one for the young rake as New South Wales again look to send it wide off first phase. And motor forward. If they bring it back this side, they're looking dangerous. And a good carry there by Luca Moretti. Ball spills back. Here's Donaldson again. Throws the block play. Opportunity here. Good quick hands from New South Wales. Here comes Hopawati. A great tackle there by Carter Gordon. Has taken down Hopawati, who remains on his feet. Gets the ball back cleanly. Bit of footwork there from Queenslanders. Giving them the ball back. That's a good little bit of play there by... Kapua, box kick, probably not the right option. Back in New South Wales' favour now as they go on the attack through Thomas Woodcock, who sends it out wide. Tackled well, William Lloyd. 
And New South Wales need to settle things down at the moment and just take a hard carry. And they do that through Rima. Player down in back play. No halfback at the minute. Fed out New South Wales on the attack. Play it. Yeah, there you go. It's I was going to say to Adam there, yeah, the, the, the New South Wales depth of their back line is quite immense. And when they do throw it back there and they don't get on the front foot, it gives Queensland their sanity by, by their back row able, able to come forward. And, and straight away they were hooked onto that ball and got the penalty. But we've got an injury here and uh, he's not too good, the young man. Yeah, it looks not like for me, Will. It could be Dylan Dowling, the young scrum half from Joey's. As we You're right, mate. peer out to <laughs> For sure. another ankle injury, I think, and uh, Henry Robinson is coming onto the field, so you're right there. You've called that well. Will Johnson on the field as well. And jersey number 16. And a couple of changes here. <laughs> They're running them on faster than I can get through them. Um, I think Dylan Dowling back on as well. So. Oh, he's, no, he's come on to help the halfback off the field. So. He's called that holding on, Adam, the penalty for New South Wales holding on with Queensland over the ball. It was bound to happen. They were just a little bit rudderless at that point. And now Queensland, too, have the opportunity to take the lead if they kick the ball out, which they don't. But now New South Wales quickly on the counter attack and they cut out one now and they're looking fine hopawati and the ball's behind him so a similar result not but it just touch. not giving new south wales a chance at the moment Scrum. and we do hope that dylan dowling is okay who's Scrum. left the field and been replaced by Scrum. the original halfback harry robertson it was a knock on there first, They've, he, the referee's called, so they've got the scrum, Queensland, a good attacking opportunity for them here. You would almost want to take the line out with the way this New South Wales scrum is going at the moment, but it was a knock on by Hopawati, and now Queensland have the opportunity to strike. I wonder what Carter Gordon's got for us here for the Queensland side. And he's quickly become your favourite here, Carter Gordon. Yeah. The pivot from Queensland too. Crutch. Ball needs to come out quickly. Binds. Not too long to go now. Five minutes of play. Sit. Solid scrum. That's a better one from Queensland too as the ball comes back. Number eight does well. Huvuta. Carter Gordon shifts it on. Queensland through layer again. Geez, look good. But a good tackle over the top there. I think that was Moretti. And Vuta again. They may be lining up for a three-pointer here, Queensland. Leave it blue now. Hands in the ruck there saying, penalty, Queensland two. This will be interesting. I've never seen so many front rowers point at the sticks in my life. All three of them. You'd almost think that every person in that Queensland team had no confidence in the captain taking the right decision. They all pointed at the sticks, and guess what they've done? They've gone for the sticks, of course. And your man, Michael Doyle. Yep. Carter Gordon with the opportunity for one of the biggest upsets of the tournament with four minutes to go. Queensland 2 could take the lead. And the ACT schools could be the only remaining undefeated side in this tournament so far. What an opportunity, Queensland 2. Well, New South Wales there had the opportunity to get out of their own territory and, uh, and they decided to run it. And uh, it looked good when they started, but great Queensland hustle hustle in defense and they got they got across there and forced a mistake and here we go and here we go carter gordon probably the biggest kick in his young career to date strikes it and kicks it well and true queensland two are now in the lead in the final match here of day three it's 27 points to 25. Three minutes of play. New South Wales. Can they do it? Can they come back from this upset win? There is not long to go, but it is absolutely silent here on the sidelines. Everyone's expecting New South Wales to win. Restart from Donaldson. Taken well by New South Wales. Game on through Donnie Freeman. Carting forward. Queensland 
Get the jackal, get the steal. New South Wales over the ball. Ball comes out. New South Wales have got it back again. There's three turnovers in one facet there. They cart forward. Head down. Here's Laurel over the ball. It's 27-25. Queensland two in front over New South Wales. And here we go. Donaldson very deep. And a bit of a jinking run getting through. They need to find the opportunity. And that's a good place there by the Lavely fly half. One out runners again, New South Wales. And here comes New South Wales playing one out phases. Very flat in attack. Here's Law all over that ball again. Looks like he's knocked it on there and Queensland 2 have come away with it. What will Queensland 2 do now? New South Wales all over. Will they play out for the victory? There's a just on. Two minutes to go. Some pick and goes could see them win the game. Penalty, Queensland 2. Not releasing the player before attacking the ball. Well, New South Wales elected to go to go down that left-hand side. I, I would have personally come back into the midfield and tried to take it up and 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 build some more pressure on them and see if Queensland could have made the mistake. But they were isolated there. And uh, the blue side and Queensland quickly to pounce on that and, and straight away referees telling the players to uh, get on with the game uh, as Queensland try to slow it down. And here's my man stepping up. Carter Gordon. As the ball only just finds the touchline. There would be too many plays to go now. Just on a minute and a half, I've got by my clock. And it's Queensland 2's line out. Oh, what an important throw this one is from Nesta Mahina of Brisbane State High School hooker. If he nails this line out, I think they'll win the game. I'm sorry, it's not Nestina. It's taken by New South Wales too, but stripped back by that man, Connors, who carts forward. Geez, had a strong game, Connors. And it's a penalty, Queensland too. High tackle, I believe. Yes, it is. Yep, and that was Lachlan Connors. What a game he's had for the Queensland side. He's been absolutely outstanding. From the moment the kickoff went, he was in the action, and, and in the in the last minute of the game, he's uh, he's produced a great run, and, and they, I thought they'd lost that line out, Adam. So did I, but... Shot. I got the shot. Here's an opportunity now for Queensland to... You know what, Doily, I'd almost, I'd almost not take the kick, only because I think that in any instance, if it doesn't clear the field of play, and it, and it may not, and it may certainly do that, he'd be 40 metres out if he was in front, but he's just to the right. Yeah, you're right there, Adam. I'd, I'd be kicking this fairly straight if I was him, <laughs> just going to kick it out of over the dead ball line because this game's over. And uh, if he hits a post or or doesn't make the distance, New South Wales might get last last throw of the dice. But uh... it's on its way. And the other opportunity now is New South Wales. No, they don't. They don't have the opportunity to go again. Queensland two with a huge upset as the players shriek to the field and they're all over each other and so they should be. What a result for Queensland too. And this is the reason why we play sport because we love seeing the, the good times and the bad. I feel for New South Wales who had a, a strong game but Queensland too had their quick celebration. They went straight over to celebrate. Michael Doyle, what a moment for Queensland who had a rough start to the competition. They lost both of their games one and two and now they've come out in this third day and won two from two. So oh. New South Wales 25 with three tries and two conversions, two penalties. And the winners, Queensland 2, 27 points, four tries, two conversions and the single penalty goal. Queensland 27, New South Wales 1, 25. Doyley, how'd you see it? Well, that, that goal kick went dead by one metre, Adam. And, and there was a, the New South Wales guys were sweating on it. But... Uh, uh, 
you've got to take your hat off and give it to the Queensland two side. They were in it all day, and they, they, they I said at one stage that they were never going to go away, and they certainly didn't. And they kept they were in New South Wales faces and uh, kept the forward momentum and, and came out winners 27, 25. But just outstanding games by a couple of people, if I can, Adam, with Josh Vuda and and Lachlan Connors. Uh, I, I thought they, the Loch, uh, Josh Vuda and the halfback and and Lachlan Connors was outstanding for them. I don't disagree with you at all, uh, Michael Doyle, and it's been a, a thrill to call that game. But let's just have a quick look at the highlights while we've got them because there are so many good passages of play. And we'll go back to the first half where you thought New South Wales were going to run away with it. Uh, and they opened up the scoring account through their front rower, Darcy Breen. Uh, and it wasn't too adventurous or there wasn't too much involved in it. Just a nice little pick and go. Got New South Wales won on the scoreboard early. And you thought this could be a long afternoon for Queensland 2, but it wasn't. And then Queensland 2 got straight back into the game and it was through a very similar situation. And probably I'd give three points to this man, Braden Law, who went the run out run, upright high, really long, strong body height, and then found the New South Wales defence begging and got the five-pointer for Queensland 2. And Queensland 2 were strong to strike again. And it was through a beautiful set-piece play here. Whiteside, he took it to the line, found his players, and a nice little fend there gave Lee the opportunity to score in the corner and a bit of carry-on too. And you'll see a little bit of carry-on later on when this side gets the spoils over and gets the upset over New South Wales. But another interesting time here. We almost thought the Lee was going to score his second, but it was great work by New South Wales to get across there and isolate the player and come up with the jackal. Gee, would have been interesting there if they had scored that try and another kick ahead by Alex Gow, not to beat. And we close off the half two. And this was really fortunate one for New South Wales. Their second try in the match came at the stroke of half time. And it was that man, probably the best player for New South Wales in the losing side, Ben Donaldson, gliding through and setting up New South Wales just before half time. But the real action started in the second half where Queensland started to get a sniff in this match. And you would have thought that New South Wales were going to run away with it, especially here of cleaning up this boggle ball and going forward. There's that man Law all over that ball again. This is where Queensland sort of probably dominated the fixture just around that ruck, but not on this occasion as Jeremy Williams from the Scots College scored the third try for New South Wales. And now Queensland with their opportunity. When they were in the A zone and the New South Wales D zone, they did come away with points on most occasions. And Vuta, and I would put him in my best today as well, Michael Doyle. I thought he had an outstanding game. He seemed to have a role in everything, especially his tactical kicking. He set up Queensland for their second, or sorry, their third try in the match. And it was that man who played a pretty decent role was Carter Gordon as we just roll some of these highlights. And I could watch this plug play all day, Connors. And this try here was one of the tries of the tournament. I'm sure you'll see it popping up on social media. And of course, there is the last play of the game as we head down to the sideline. And Queensland have been doing plenty of celebrating. And one of the players we've got down there on the sideline joins, Paddy Folks. Rugby.com.au, expert on the community game. Thanks, Adam. I'm down here with the victorious captain of Queensland 2, uh, Cohen Herbert. Cohen, mate, congratulations on the win. What a tough game. You must be stoked to beat New South Wales 1. Yeah, the boys grinded out the last 10 minutes. It's really good. I've never beaten New South Wales before, but it was a good, good victory. And can't wait to celebrate with the boys. Yeah, and heading into a final now against the ACT, you must be pretty proud considering Queensland seconds, you've knocked off Queensland one to get to get make it to the big dance. Yeah, the Queensland one boys did win, but we got there in the end, and I'm very happy to play ACT in the final. They're going to be very tough. We've got to work on a lot of things before playing them in the final. So day off tomorrow, rest up, and what do you think the ACT will bring on Saturday? Oh, by watching them, they bring a lot of speed, especially their number 15. He's very good at the edges, so we just got to pressure him and give him a lot of pressure the whole game. Well, congratulations and enjoy your victory, mate. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. And uh, just coming in now, I've got the uh, captain of New South Wales, Bo Abra. Bo, mate, commiserations on the loss. Tough game. That's one of the most intense games of footy I've watched. Um, how are you feeling with, after that, that tight loss? Look, I'm a bit battered and bruised, a bit gutted, um, of course, but they were the better team on the day, so they do deserve it. 
credits to those boys and credits to our boys who did stick in, but obviously it wasn't good enough. Um, Queensland, like their, some of their wingers really, really gassed. Do you think that's where they won it today with just a bit extra speed? Yeah, that helped, but um, I think yeah, one on one tackles just didn't work. We didn't stick them and they just made the meter straight up the gut, so that's just killed us. And you got one more game coming up, the 3v4 playoffs, so looking to finish strongly, my friend? Yeah, of course. we got tomorrow off, so we head to the beach, do a bit of recovery and um, just look to bounce back. We're trying to beat uh, Queensland once, will be tough. So, yeah, big, game, big day tomorrow with recovery, but I think we've got to head up and just... Keep going? Yeah, that's right. Well, Bo, commiserations on the loss, mate. Well played today, and we look forward to seeing you in action on Saturday. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, just before uh, I let you come back to you, Adam, I'm just going to be joined by Australian Rugby's uh, Head of Referees, uh, Scott Young, who's uh, come down to talk with us today. And Scott, just want to have a quick chat. We've seen a lot of the young players coming through the system. But there's a lot of young referees here today as well, having a crack and plying their trade. And as the Head of Referees, how do you think, how do you think they're going? Yeah, they're going pretty well, Patrick. I think you've got to realise that this is a nursery for referees as well. And we look at our current number one referee Angus Gardner who's in the top group of referees in the world he came through the skills championships about 10 to 12 years ago so that gives you a bit of an indication of how important we see the skills championship as part of our pathway to bigger and better things. And what, do you, what, what, what do you tell these referees as they're learning the trade down here what's the best advice you, you can give at such a, a championship when you know tensions can boil over between states? Well there's two key things I think Patrick about this is, is understanding and knowing the game and dealing with the pressure situations as, we, as we've just seen in that, that game it was a, a pressure cooker and that's where you want to see referees make the right decisions and make sure that the players actually decide the game. And uh, how many of these refs do you think could be refing at Super Rugby or you know test level down the track? I'm sure there must be a few you got you got your eyes on. Yeah, look, there's a couple here I think who uh, show real potential. Um, generally across the board, the, the four referees that we've used here, in fact, it's five referees, should I say, uh, a pretty good quality, um, and they are part of our talent identification program. And and I think out of this, uh, on statistics, probably about 50% of them will go all the way. Yeah, fantastic. Well, thank you, Scott, and uh, thank you very much for tuning into these interviews. Back to you, Adam, uh, live on rugby.com.au. Thanks very much, Paddy, and what an afternoon of rugby here. Beautiful conditions at Riverview College. Uh, Michael Doyle, what a result this one. New South Wales 1 and Queensland 2. Yeah, look, it's certainly very disappointing for New South Wales 1s who have been undefeated coming into this game. But, uh, it, well, for the first time in five years, Adam, the uh, the the, the, the the prize won't go to a New South Wales side. It's uh, ACT versus ACT one versus Queensland two in the final. Uh, New South Wales ones versus Queensland one, which will be a cracker uh, for third and fourth, and finally for this, the combined states versus uh, New South Wales twos and Victoria versus Western Australia for the wooden spoon. But some great rugby here. Thank you for having me. Uh, really enjoyed it, and um, looking forward to uh, the final day. Yeah, it's going to be a great final day. And join us here on Saturday morning, rugby.com.au or rugby.com.au Facebook Live. It is ACT 1, or well, the only team that's here from the ACT, and Queensland 2 for the main prize. First v second in that final. And, of course, it's a, another bumper day with every team on show. But who will be the national champion for the Australian schools for 2017. We'll find out this Saturday morning. Looking forward to bringing it to you live here from Riverview. I'm Adam Fryer, joined by Michael Doyle. I'd like to thank everyone, Marty Cambridge, Chris Ford, and Sideline Comets Patrick Folks for their contribution for today. And we certainly look forward to bringing you the action live and exclusive to rugby.com.au.